Hey y'all, this is Bitty Boo. And today I'm at a MAG meeting. A MAG is people that you can count on to come and help, help you in, in an emergency. It's where you make contacts and find out who has what skills, blah, 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 blah. And if something happens and they're, you're in their area, you can call them and they will come help you. So I'll kind of show you around here in just a minute to show you who all's here. Sister Kate, Northwest Texas River. Katie back, and we came to Arkansas this weekend to meet all these nice people. We'll see if we can get them to talk to us in just a minute. Because you can see the, the time going. There we go. go. Hey y'all, it's Bitty Boo and Sister Kate Shofar Mountain. And I come to this meeting and my main reason we're coming was to meet one of my favorite people. Oh, so. <laughs> that is so sweet. That was my reason for coming. She sent me the email and said, are you going to go to that thing on Saturday? And I was like, well, if you're going to be there, I'm going. Absolutely. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted y'all to know what Sister Kate does. Will you tell them what you do on your channel for the ones that don't know? Um, just general information on off-grid living, um, gardening, self-sufficiency, um, a little bit of older people's stuff, you know, we're over 50. Um, and so life changes a little bit from when you were 20. Um, yeah, just basically kind of helping homesteading off-grid kind of stuff. Well, I like your informational videos like on, uh, like you did over Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. And, oh my gosh. Now I'm just out of my head now. Historical kind of yes. stuff? Is that what you, you do? Yes, really? I love okay. it. Okay. I love the historical stuff. Okay. I'm always like, she's so knowledgeable. But I didn't, I wasn't born that way. It's not something that I knew. I read articles and then I get excited about them. And when you start talking about when you lived over in, wasn't it Japan? Malaysia. Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love it. Good. Because I'm like, I'll never be out of the country. I want to hear. I want to hear. So. Well, it was a really, I mean, we were there 18 months. So it, it wasn't just like a, a week-long stay. My husband had to go to school there. And so it was being immersed in a foreign culture, whether we knew what we were getting into or not. And it ended up being an, an adventure. I mean, we lived it, but there were ups and there were downs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It wasn't now, all just where were perfect. you raised? Um, I was born in Nicosia, Cyprus, because my parents <laughs> look at her face. What is that? <laughs> what? Where is that? Cyprus is in the Mediterranean, and they worked for the government, so mm. I was born overseas. Um, but mainly, we were in Virginia. We were on the East Coast, mainly. And then after I married my husband and we're in the military, then we're bouncing all over the place, California and Hawaii and oh, North Carolina and just all that stuff. I've been to North Carolina. That's yeah. beautiful. It is beautiful down there. I really like it. I want to go to Hawaii, but my luck, the volcano would go off while I was over there. <laughs> or some kind of big storm. I mean, we get those storm warnings too. There could be a tsunami. Get up to the mountains. That's a real thing in Hawaii. Yeah, go up to the top of the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue while you're up there. It's nice and warm. <laughs> oh, oh man. The, um, you was also talking about uh, stinging on it. I hate it when I get in front of the camera. I have brain farts. Never heard of it. I don't know anything about senior moments. I don't know anything about brain farts or what's that word again? You know, it's big and it's pink and it flies in the air or whatever. I swear. Um, oh my gosh. You'll think of it. I'll think of it later and then I'll wish I'll add this, Esther. 
It's really nice of you to say those things, though. I do appreciate that. Oh, I love it. And when you do, oh, your dehydrator. Oh my gosh, oh, yes. I love that dehydrator. It is so worth it. And now I, I don't want to make it seem like I knew something about dehydrators before my neighbor gave me that one. My neighbor built that one. He's the one who, you know, knew that he needed a black box and it needed to have air flow through it and everything. And he didn't want his anymore. So we said, of course, yeah, sure, we'll take it. Um, you can build it yourself though, because he built it. And it is basically a box, black mm -hmm. box. So the sun will heat it up. And with his, there's like a front pane and then the box is under it. And then the hot air rises up through it the trays are above that and that hot air goes through those trays and it works really well. I mean, sometimes it's dehydrating stuff in, in a day or two if it's a really sunny, hot day. Um, but it's, I'm, I highly recommend everyone either build your own or buy one or whatever because it dries everything. The latest thing I did, I took a bunch of my weeds. <laughs> What's a weed? I never heard of it. Never seen one before. Uh -uh big green things. Um, we have tons of them. I took a bunch of the weeds and I put them in the trays and it dehydrated them all. And I, I just stuffed them in this big jar. I guess I should do a video on that. A big jar for food for the goats for winter. Because it know, made hay. It's basically hay. It's just not made from the grasses that hay's made from. I, I picked like a sunflower seed or sunflower plant and seriously just leaves off of weeds in the garden. Vines. Mm -hmm. Some of it was the um, morning glory. I oh, yeah. Have, my husband planted one and I hate them. But the goats oh, will eat them. it. I know they have pretty flowers mm -hmm. and everything, but I'm like, I want stuff that'll bear fruit for me. I don't want a pretty one in the garden. A pretty one can be somewhere else. But yeah, the goats will eat them too. So I just crammed it all in there, dried it, and now it's in a jar. And I want to do a lot more because, like you said, it's like hay. Only try to get hay around here. Oh, I know. Well, on your sunflower that you took out, did it have the seeds and all? Not yet, but I should. I should do some yeah, with the seeds. Because, you know, those are awesome for their coats. Yes, absolutely. Full of protein. Um, the plants that we have have really small heads, mm -hmm. and they're very uh, moist. Like, I've tried to take them off and then dry them, and they've molded before they dried. So... I can try it. I can try it in the dehydrator. I didn't try drying it in the I wonder, dehydrator. I wonder if you have to take the seeds out of the head and spread them out too. Right, instead of trying to do the head itself. Mm -hmm. that, that would be another thing for me to look into. But yeah, that dehydrator is huge. I don't know if when I'm standing, it's like... <laughs> I'm sitting here going, I want one. It looks, I want one. She wants one, okay? So if you follow my channel or her channel and you have the skills and you live close enough, make her one, okay? <laughs> and if you don't want to make a big one, make a small one and mail it to her. Um, yeah, I, I do like it. And I've got blackberries in it right now, right now. I also love your teachings when you go start teaching on the Bible. Ooh, thank you for saying that. I love it because sometimes you know it's very controversial and I'm not trying to act like I'm a pastor and that I know everything but I have been reading the word for 30 years and I also was an English major in college so if you give me a book I understand plot character themes I understand conflict I understand how the sentences and the paragraphs are written and the Bible is a book yep well you know and so many people I'm not trying to be mean when I say this, but so many people get discouraged on YouTube because they get a thumbs down. I'm going to tell you what. Jesus was perfect, and the people didn't like him. It's true. It's very true. So. Get a thicker skin, Sister yep. Kate. Get that skin thickened up there. But, you know, he was perfect. Yes, he And was. could not please everyone. True. People wanted so. to kill him wanted to stone him and all kinds yep. of things that is so true well then i guess i better do one or two more of those teachings as well i appreciate that yeah no problem <laughs> well i guess you all we're going to call it a date because i want to visit with her that's right so remember the world's a better place because y'all are in it please don't ever forget that hallelujah. and i love you each and every one hallelujah bye see ya